Hey guys, welcome to episode four on the Amit Darji Show. Let's jump right into it, guys. Today, I'm going to be discussing with you my why, my goals, why I do what I do, the passion that I have, things that I enjoy to do. I hope what you get out of this video is inspiration to go set out onto your own journey and to go accomplish the things that you want to in your life. So I'll start with a little bit about my why. My why is my family. And I am going to say this. My why is the desire to do something that no one around me has ever accomplished and to leave a legacy behind. And that legacy doesn't necessarily have to be just financial. That legacy is about integrity, about honesty, being a servant. That legacy is about leaving behind resources. It's so much more beneficial if I can leave a Rolodex of resources for my family that they can call upon in their time of need. That outweighs the capacity of what money can do because those resources have knowledge that can be shared, that can be exponentially applied into aspects of life. So that's my why. I mean, you know, I'm big on, on always thinking about my why. Um, it's important to me. I highly encourage you to think about your why, you know, why you want to do certain things in life. Why do you do the things that you do? Another thing as you're thinking about your why is think about the things that you don't want to do, right? When you learn to put constraints into your life, meaning a box where you say, hey, if any of these things that come into my life fall into this box, it's a no. For me, time is always important, as it is to everybody, right? If you think about it, everybody has one thing in common, and that's 24 hours, as long as God gives it to us. Everybody does something differently. And listen, don't let me kid you here. I've sucked. I probably still suck. I have a lot to learn and to go and do and to be make better use of my time, but I'm aware of it and I'm willing to do something about it. So again, create a box that has your constraints. If you know that doing that activity or doing that thing is not going to make you happy, don't do it. There's no sense in doing it. And express your opinions, express your thoughts. Like, hey, like this is not something beneficial to me. I I'll give you an example. So my friend and I are Philadelphia Eagles season ticket holders. When we first got those tickets, I mean, we went to every game. We tailgated every home game. I mean, it was to the point where I was bringing my smoker. I was doing brisket, pulled pork, the whole bang. And when I looked at my time, I was spending anywhere between 12 to 14 hours at the football stadium. We'd get there so early, you know, for a one o'clock kickoff, we'd be there by five o'clock. We'd be there at the game till about four, right? Game ends at four. By the time we get out of the stadium, get to the parking lot, you're looking at five. By the time we get home, it's uh, close to six o'clock. Then you got to come home and clean. And now as I've more defined my why, I'm as less interested in going because I ask myself, if I go to this game, what does it do to what I want to accomplish? So you know, I love to spend time with my wife, my children, my family, my friends. I like to travel. And so recently we've been just, you know, selling off the tickets, raffling them off. But in all honesty, it, it goes back to my why, you know, my time is so super important to me. So define and think about your why. And, and it does, guys, it, the why does not have to be this thing that's etched in stone. It's forever this. People grow, people change. Change is a good thing. Don't think change is bad. When things are going great, people say, I'm not gonna change. Okay, are you gonna feel the same way when things are going bad, I'm not gonna change? Of course not. You're going to change. You're going to make a change so that you can feel better. So constantly look at change as a good thing. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Let me tell you about my goals. So when I was first focusing on my goals, and this my, you know, I'm in real estate. Um, I'm an investor. I like to, you know, I buy homes, fix, flip. I'm more focused on now holding. When I first started out, my goal was based off of, hey, how many, you know, homes can I acquire? But the bottom line of it was this passive income that I could create, a income that can come in monthly that doesn't constantly require my attention, and. So I'm like, wait a minute, you know, that has more of a financial aspect because I want to live a certain way, right? I want to travel. I want to go do things with my wife and my children, my mom and my dad. That has more of a financial basis. So I kind of, I, I readjusted, right? Change. I changed what I was trying to go after. And my goal now 
is to get to $1 million a month net income. So it, listen, one opportunity could do that, right? One opportunity could cash flow me a million dollars a month. Have I found that opportunity? No, <laughs> or I'll tell you right now. But now when I acquire assets, when I acquire real estate, I just look at the bottom line. How much is this making me a month? And then I subtract it from the million dollar mark. Okay, let's keep going. You know, one rental property might make me $350 a month. Another might make me $1,000 a month. So I readjusted and I've just looked at, hey, this is what I want. This is what I want to accomplish. You're probably wondering why a million dollars. Well, I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars, haven't made a million. So I'm going to go set the goal high. And listen, let's just be realistic. Once I get to it, because I know I will, that bar will just increase. And I'm okay with it because that's my goal. It's changing. It's evolving. It's growing with me, right? I just want my goals to be bigger than where I'm at right now. I don't want my goals to be where I am right now. If I made $600,000 this year, I don't want my goal next year to be 600,000 because it's comfortable because I know how to do it. You're never going to grow. You're never going to change. You're never going to expand, right? Kind of look at it this way. If you have problems here, which everybody does, why not just elevate and have deal with problems up here. I'd rather have more money and deal with problems than have less money and deal with problems. It's just all about the way you think. So that's my goal. I mean, and listen, I'm going to take you on this journey with me. I'm going to share with you what's going on. I'm going to share with deals that I'm doing and walk you through properties as you already seen that I'm doing, how we're renovating them, what we're looking to do with them. Listen, I don't keep every single property that I buy. I, I try to, that's the first evaluation that I do, but sometimes it just makes more sense to sell it because maybe it could be location. It's a great deal to purchase it, fix it, resell it. You know, location wise, it's maybe outskirts of what my benchmark is or where I wanna own properties. It could be a residential, it's a one unit and it doesn't make sense for us to manage it. So we'll sell it. That is my goal. I've set that goal for 2026. July 7th, 2026, I want to be at a million dollars a month. Guys, come along on the journey. Ask questions. Let's work together. There's nothing more beneficial and fruitful than helping others get to their goals as well. And I believe that if we work together, we can 100% help each other accomplish those goals. So guys, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, please do not hesitate. Ask. The more you ask, the more you will receive. That's just how it goes. That's the law of attraction. That's what that's what my faith says. Ask and you shall receive. So I always ask. The worst thing that somebody could say is no, right? So just ask. Don't don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to step out your comfort zone. Don't be afraid to take action. And please do not get paralysis by analysis. There's only so much knowledge you can put in before you take action. Like I'll give you an example. Like people boast that they read 50 books, 100 books a year, right? That's great. But out of those books, how much are you implementing in your life or in your business? If you read 10 books over the course of 10 years, but you thoroughly applied what that book was telling you, I think you'll get a better change in your life. I'm not saying just read 10 books either, but I'm just giving you an example. I'm more focused on the quality in things than I am on the quantity of things. Again, that goes back to the example I gave. If I can do one deal and it brings me a million dollars a month, I hit my mark. Let's set a new goal. Always be in the perpetual growth. Just grow, believe, grow, conquer. Like just keep going, keep pushing yourself, push the boundaries, push the limits. And please, please do not let anybody tell you what you want to achieve is foolish. If I allowed what others thought of me and my dreams and aspirations, they would have stopped me in my tracks. But I kept pushing forward. You know, it, listen, there's nothing wrong with being called the black sheep of the family. Nothing wrong at all. If you're finding value, if you find this channel resourceful, please hit the like button and also subscribe so you get notifications when videos are popping back up. Our goal right now is to post once a week, right? Mondays, 6 p.m. So just look out for it. Mondays at 6 p.m. We're posting videos every week. YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. Just just go like, guys. This is really to help you and inspire you and to, and to help push you forward into what you want to accomplish. Guys, I'll see you next time. Take it easy.